position all weekend. Regardless of what happens to their car, they've been able to bounce back. What's weird is that they started on the pole this weekend, but they rarely were there. They let the fuse number elapse in the first race and still won it. Meanwhile, Catastrophe trying to diagnose the problems going into turn one. Things are getting a bit hectic there. And Omaha Maker Group just waiting for Catastrophe to make a mistake so they can pounce and take second place from them. Meanwhile, the race is not over for Minecart. They are also trying to see if Omaha Maker Group makes a mistake. We have a caution, there's broken glass on, on the track. Caution flag is out. They have broken glass on the track. We're gonna sweep it up real quick. The Grim has called a very rare caution. Oh, it looks like there's a creeper. Oh, they lost a diamond sword. Who's gonna get it? I think his diamond sword broke. Oh, it looks like almost. Danger Mouse has got the diamond sword. All right, we're cleared. The glass has been cleared of the track. Duct tape's back out and racing. Duct tape and zip ties finally putting down the pit. They were in the pit for over half an hour. Fixed it up, and now they've done just done their 20th lap. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Kansas City finally getting the car in the way and fixing it. If you want your hometown heroes to win next year, join CCC Casey. The makerspace. at the makerspace. Yep. They've been got classes and tools and all sorts of things to be a maker. They've been here for a very long time, Patrick. Truck is the first, the very first makerspace in Kansas City. Oh, we have another issue with Danger Mouse. Is that a penalty? What, what's going on there? I'm not sure what's going on there. No, there's a battery oh, issue. There's a battery issue. Is he dead? Patrick, I wonder if they're switching the batteries over to their main car. Maybe that's the case of what's going on. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. Or are they swapping out the batteries? Something must have been mislabeled with their cars. They were much slower after their pit stop, and that's not how that's not how it's supposed to go. No, but that means now that Jurassic Rover is going to keep its fifth place in that Mark III, that wedge of cheese, was its only threat. Right? Oh, and meanwhile, Herbie, which is now the Dumb and Dumber car, is oh, now into <laughs> one incident breeding another. All right. While they get the Mutt Cuts car fixed. Yep. Oh, right we're all clear. Green flag. Back underway. Only 10 minutes to go, 10 minutes left in the race. We've been racing for over an hour. It's a 75 minute endurance race. Everyone's sprinting to the finish. Right now, if you've just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Power Racing Series, and this is our big finale for the weekend, the 75 minute endurance race. Meanwhile, I can't even finish. Oh, no, where something else happens, happens on the is track. It a puppy car? Yep. It looks like they're back underway. Almost a caution, but not quite. Some issues with the Herbie team, which is a shame because they were gaining on Humminator. Humminator playing very conservative with its race strategy now because of that broken U joint. Lots of confusion going on now. To get in your last minute Roxy boats. Yes, get All your last. All those teams down in the low, low positions. This is the last. Dominator, Herbie, Kubo, Lego, Duct Tape, and Zip Ties. They all need lots of Roxy boats. Eight minutes to go in uh, this endurance race. What's going on in the back? It is colossal traffic right here. Eight cars were going into that turn all at once. Everyone is backed up and everyone's putting it in. They are trying to get through that turn one. It is calamity behind Kansas City and the minecarts. It looks like Mutt Cuts is trying to undercut the minecart. Meanwhile, the Tristan Plus is going to also need some of them. Both of them. Almost both of them. Oh, and two wheels 
for mud guts. It's very easy to say things about the Muck Cuts car because it's just a bunch of puns. Oh no, meanwhile, they cut the corner too wide off the Muck Cuts. Almost into the back of the U-Haul. They were almost delivering it home, and they almost delivered it back to the truck. An early retirement. We're back underway though, moving on, putting laps down. Patrick, is there a race for last place now that duct tape is back out there? Uh, they're, they're racing right now for everyone's hearts here in Kansas City. Ah, I see that, Patrick. Now I see. There's still a race between Herbie and Fubar. Fubar looking to catch Herbie. All Patrick. The mud cuts. Patrick, Phantom Power Racing. I just looked it up right now. Phantom Power Racing. Right now with just a few minutes left. If they pull off this win, this will be the first hat trick Power Racing has seen since 2013, here by Sector 67. It's been that long since we had a shutout in the weekend. The hat trick is getting the pole and winning each of our races and getting away with it without any trouble. Uh oh, something's wrong with Cartastrophe, I think. Oh, Cartastrophe having a <laughs> to the caution. I had to actually look to see what was going on. I don't think it moved. Oh no. Oh no. A typical second place for Cartastrophe might oh. actually be in jeopardy. They have to get the car off the track. Let's get it moving. Oh no. That's it. That could be the second place gone. Bad news for Cartastrophe. Good news for Kit Car. That's right. If, if Kit, Kit and Mine Car, if they can do more laps, they'll move up to second and third. Green flag, here we go. Five, six minutes left. Just six minutes left. Second place now is up for grabs. In fact, Cartastrophe's back out again. I don't know what it was, a loose connection? What the heck's going on there? Oh, more fail well. He's being penalized. He's got to finish the race with a fail well. Wow. Phantom Patrick, that rat rod out there has spent the last 10 minutes putting it all the way down. They are not slowing up for this finish. They want to prove the point that they are fast and they are not letting up. They are definitely prepared for next month in Detroit when you'll see the Power Racing Series next for round three. Oh, almost got us. But right now, oh, Mark Free, the Danger Mouse, says that uh, Phantom is not the only rat rod out there. Absolutely. Good job, Sarah, with that one. And Phantom just carefully making their way around the track. All they got to do is keep it together, and they're good. But they have certainly proven themselves not only and consistent. And then Orange Jeep holding on to second place. Knight Rider, that black Corvette holding on to third. Minecart fourth. Jurassic Rover fifth. The Wedge of Cheese is sixth, Huminator is in seventh, the Puppy Crow is in eighth, Fubar in ninth, Lego Car in tenth, and Duck Tape and Zip Ties in eleventh. Looks like the strategy for Cartastri is to go until they can't. Four minutes. Counting. Four minutes. They're counting on their car making it to the finish. But if they don't, Kit Car from Omaha Maker Group can capitalize on it. They are rolling the dice. They're not going to pick Pit to lose time. They're going to just keep going. Oh, no, the in the wall. Oh, no. Oh, he's moving. Where's Omaha Maker Group? There he goes. And it looks like, did they gain a lap from that? I don't think they did. No. They are able to hold steady on it. Catastrophe avoiding losing another lap. Catastrophe needs to just stay out there and hold on to their win. There's only a few more minutes left. They will have podium. Three minutes. Three minutes. Omaha Maker Group running out of time. Just not enough time to catch Catastrophe at this point. Unless something critical happens to Catastrophe, which is certainly possible. They are underpowered. They are going slowly. 
that Omaha Manger Group isn't going fast enough to catch them even they did. It looks like they're settling for third. I'm surprised their crews haven't instructed them to push harder. Meanwhile, the green shells have traveled around the track more laps than a few of the cars out there. Almost green shell in the leader. Phantom Power Racing number 48 has been completely solid all weekend despite so many racing incidences that could have taken them out. Two minutes left, just two minutes left in the race. Two minute warning teams, this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, Huminator is not going to finish this race. We are running down to the last moments of this race, ladies and gentlemen. And guess who's making it to the end, folks? Guess who is doing it? Yeah. 
He's running back to get his mind card. Let's get the mind card out here. He was so <laughs> excited to get that win. He forgot his hand. The Phantom's still working. This is win number nine for Phantom Power Racing. Now tying them up with Catastrophe. Both of these cars in the history of Power Racing have the same number of wins now. And this is the first podium ever for Minecart. Now driven by a creeper. Creeper and a Minecart, also known as a rolling bomb. Pretty much, yeah. All right. All right, let's so, hand out those medals. That's right. The bronze no goes to the creeper and the Minecart. <laughs> a very amazing turnaround. A last, very last second third place. Silver okay goes to Cartastrophe. Cartastrophe fighting every single problem they could get and still managed to second. A very impressive ending. But your winner with the hat trick, winning all weekend with the races. The gold yes goes to Phantom. But Patrick, I bet once we count those Moxie votes, it's going to be a very close battle between that minecart and Phantom. Very. And the fact that minecart, a third place, is a massively impressive accomplishment. The first time out they've ever been on podium. And they've done it with a box. In three, two, one. Congratulations to Phantom out there. Phantom Cartastrophe and Omaha Maker Group. First, second, and third. We get the Moxie Boy right back here, timing and scoring. I'll tally the votes. They're going to tally the votes. Let's see what is going on out there. Let's see what happens. It looked like Twisted Plastic, Patrick, got a solid fifth place. Is that correct? I believe they have yes, fifth. Yes, they did. They, they held I out a fifth. The first in race, race, fifth place. How does that feel? Feels good. Your, your strategy to switch cars seemed to work very well. <laughs> well, we'll give you a pass on that one. It's first time out. Next time, though, can't wait to see all those cars out there. A great job for Twisted Plastic, everyone.